Grindrod operates in four divisions, namely freight services, shipping, trading and financial services. It took on Remgro as a 22% shareholder after a rights issue in November 2011. It has a market cap of 15.3 billion rand, PE ratio of 19.6 and a dividend yield of 1.2%. Uh, interesting one, Grindron Bank. Uh, a lot of diversified elements to, to the company as well as the other industrials, but the financial services uh, side has always uh, been a little bit of a question mark. Well, it's certainly uh, adding something fresh and new. It's quite small, but they have that uh, relationship now with the national pension payout system, which looks like it could hold some potential. Plus, Dave Porkinghorn's built a nice private client business in there too. But really, the business is about uh, logistics, shipping, and uh, you know, commodity trading. Over the years, they did very well and had great timing. Recently, it's a little tougher. But fortunately, they've worked themselves away from the successive dependence on the commodity cycle and on the shipping cycle, which is very, very up and down. So by adding all these logistics related and port and handling and freight businesses, they've certainly improved the quality of earnings. But uh, looking at that share price around about 24 rand, uh, value managers out there that bet on this way back then must be smiling today, Gerbrandt. Yeah, some, it's one of some the, value one of the unlock little ones that we, we've actually held uh, over time, or one or two years back at 14 Rand, I think we acquired some of it. Remgro, I think, acquired at the same time, and that, that makes this thing interesting. Um, we know they took a huge chunk. They're starting to buy from uh, Grindrod side uh, parts of some of the agricultural commodity businesses in South Africa. You saw one or two deals going through in the last year or two. That's interesting, so they're going to do those shippings and transport of that. They have certainly diversified well over time, I think. But can they go higher? I think so. This is a turnaround story. This thing's uh, revenue were uh, about four billion four years back. It's currently one billion. So certainly its uh, pressure has been felt on this group. And I think it's a bit of a recovery story as well. So certainly used to do more than two rand earnings uh, a share. It's uh, currently much lower than one rand a share, so certainly I think it, it will pull the PE back and the share price will pull this, higher. this one I'm sure didn't catch your eye at 14 rand. No, it didn't, and the reason it didn't is because you could see that in 2006-07 it did spectacularly well because it made all those clever decisions about building ships when no one else wanted them, and then the commodity cycle was strong and the trading businesses did well as well as the shipping businesses. Unfortunately, it took a very serious punch to the face in 08-09, and then it became apparent just how dependent they were on cyclical factors in terms of their earnings. However, since then, the REM growth thing comes on board. They don't put a foot wrong in all these other things they've been doing, and they've delivered good, slightly better than expected earnings. They're also a stock that has a lot of retail and semi-retail investor support. It's a stock that's made a lot of people a lot of money. So they're not a lot of but sellers. But you around. have missed the boat. No, and in fact, we said we thought we should be short this stock. We were short this one at around 21, 22. We got blown out. Now it's at 24, 25. So I don't know. I, so remain, right a little, I remain a little bit skeptical, but I will concede that we've been wrong on this and others that have been long it have been right. Have it done hot or not? It's not going to go hot on it.